Assalamu alaikum, my name is Muhammad Ali Raza and welcome to my YouTube channel Marketing Timber. So today I am going to discuss with you third tutorial of our Figma email designing series. Okay, so I am going to talk about the important options uh, that you have to play with while designing your email in Figma. Okay. So these are the options uh, that we have to discuss in this tutorial. Okay. So the first one is uh, move tool. So move tool is basically uh, to select your design element and to move your design element from one position, from one place to other position or place. Okay. So how you can do this? So to select your design element, you just have to click on that design element. So what I mean by design element. So it can be a, some text. It can be some rectangle, shape, image, so everything, uh, like every single thing is a design element. Okay. So to select your design element, so just click on that design element. And if you want to move the design element from one position to other, so first select that element and you can draw, drag and drop where you want it to be. Okay. So this is the basic, uh, this is the purpose of move tool. And you can use the shortcut key uh, that is V. Okay, so like if you press V from your uh, keyboard, so you don't need to go uh, here and select the move tool. So it will save your time. So try to uh, remember the shortcut keys. Okay. Okay, so the next option is uh, scale. So it's shortcut key is K. Like if you press the K on, the keyboard, on your keyboard, and you can uh, select the scale tool from this drop down. Okay. So let's discuss what is the purpose of scale tool. Uh, like suppose you have a multiple objects and uh, you want to increase their size and you want to make sure their size increase symmetrically. Okay. Because like I have this uh, product section. Okay. And I want to increase the size of every element in this section. If I group them and then I increase the size, so it will not increase, uh, they will not increase their size symmetrically. But I want to make sure they uh, like change their size uh, like uh, symmetrically. Okay. Like uh, if I select this and I go to scale option and I can increase the size and can decrease their size. So you can see they are adjusting themselves uh, like uh, what I can say um, proportionally. Yeah. So they are increasing and decreasing their size proportionally. Okay. So if I uh, like uh, click on the move tool and then I like uh, uh, if I show you by grouping the elements and then we will see uh, either they will increase their size and decrease their size symmetrically or not. So like if I select these, uh, this product section and like it is already grouped. So first I have to ungroup it. Okay. And no, I group it. Uh, you can press control plus G and then if I like, uh, increase their size. So you can see it is not increasing the size, uh, like, uh, proportionally and it, same uh, will happen when I will try to decrease their size. You can see. Okay. So in that way you have to increase and decrease the size of every element in this section. So it will take, it will consume your time, a lot of time. So to save your time, a uh, scale option is there for you. So you just have to select the design elements that you want to increase or decrease and press K from your keyboard and you can increase the size and decrease the size. Hope you got my point. So what is the purpose of scale? Okay, so we are done with this uh, drop down. So then next is uh, frame. So what is basically frame? So it is essential uh, to create a layout in your Figma, to create your design in Figma. Okay, so it group your design element. So what is the benefit then uh, you get there? So then you can uh, like, move your all the design element uh, just by selecting the frame 
like suppose here is the uh, like uh, product section and i want to ungroup it okay uh, so yes done so from here i want to create a frame so you can also uh, like draw a frame of uh, like any dimension like of any width and height but for email designing we mostly use 600 pixel width okay so height can be like it depend upon your content how much content you want to show so from here i can specify a 600 so it is a 600 bit frame okay so i can increase the size just by uh, from here okay so i want to put this section in this frame uh, let me adjust its position so that it uh, like seems good to us so yeah so now all the design elements all the design elements are inside the frame now if i want to move uh, these elements to some other place so i just have to select the frame and i can drag it and drop where i want it to be okay so this is the basically a purpose of frame like it helps you to group your design element you can move from one place to another very easily and all at the same time hope you got okay so you can also rename it uh, like uh, class third so that you can easily uh, find out like what was the purpose of this section what was the purpose of this frame okay so and it looks professionally uh, like you can uh, work on your design uh, in, well, like, like suppose you are designing the flows you can you are working on the e campaign so you can name uh, here like abundant checkout email third abundant checkout email check-in email campaign fourth of july sale campaign or something like that so it will help you to organize your work the right way okay so then next option is section so section is basically uh, to group the frames okay so it is like a container of frame can be container of frames and if i talk about the frames so it can be a container of your design elements and section is a container of frames what does that mean like suppose you have four emails of abundant checkout flow and you want to uh, like group them and you want to put them at the same place at in the same section so you can do so okay uh, so let me uh, show how like what does that mean so let me design the four frames here so let's suppose this is the one now let me copy it paste okay so now i want to uh, draw a section here like suppose this is our section and you can change its color too and now i want to uh, put all these frames inside this section here you can see suppose these are email campaigns okay so now if i uh, select this section and uh, sorry if i select this section and i move it so you can see frames inside the section are also moving so it will help you while uh, to move your uh, frames from one position to other or to group the frame okay like uh, if you have uh, if you want to specify if you are to categorize the pre-purchase flow post-purchase flow uh, announcement email campaigns offers uh, plain text email campaigns like something like that so you can use the section and you can organize your work and you can then later on you can go through your work and you can digest what, where is the design and you can find your uh, required design very easily and it will save your time too okay okay so this was the section and then next one is slice so it's basically uh, like if you want to export some design element in your frame so first i have to select the slice and then you have to select that area okay so export and export slice too so you can see that section only that specific section is exported like you have to crop this section in clavio so you can do in do so in clavio and figma also so it's up to you okay 
So this is the purpose of uh, slice. So then next option is, uh, so we are done with the second drop down and then next is rectangles like you want to uh, draw different shapes, rectangle for CTA, line, arrow, eclipse, polygon, star, and you can import the Im image and there is a shortcut key, uh, like just press control shift plus K. Okay, so you can uh, import image in uh, Figma. So control plus shift plus K. Okay, so like, and then select the image and then where you want to uh, place that image. So you have to click there. Like if I click here, so image will be uh, imported here. You see, okay. So this way you can import image from your computer in Figma. You can uh, go here also and you have to click there and you can uh, import the image in your Figma, okay? So there is a shortcut key, uh, control plus shift plus K. Okay, so then uh, next is uh, pen tool and pencil tool. So pen tool is basically to draw precise shapes okay so like if you want to draw some shape in figma so you can use the pen tool like if i want to design the benzene structure so you are familiar maybe if you have uh, like if you have interest in science okay or if you have been a, a science student in the past so like this sorry so you have to click on uh, click there and like if i want to uh, end this line here so you just have to click here and then i want to end this line here okay so you can adjust the alignment and yes yes and done and then you have to press enter so we are done with benzene structure okay so you want to fill its color so just select this uh, uh structure and go to the fill option and you can change its color from here and if you want to uh, like add some extra point between these two points so just double click on it and you can see the point here okay so you can uh, reshape this line uh, structure so you can move it from uh, like you can move like it okay so where you want like how you want to st structureize it so you can so this is a, like a, a pen tool basically. So to draw precise uh, structures. So then uh, next option is a pencil tool. So it is also used to draw the structures. It is also used to draw different shapes, but these will not be as precise as of like, as you can draw using pen tool. Okay. So it will be like my writing. Okay. <laughs> like this. Okay. So you can uh, design the structures like this, but it will not be as precise as you can uh, using pen tool. So then next section is text. So if you want to put, uh, if you want to write some text, so you just have to click here, okay? And, and then you can write here, marketing chamber. Okay, so this is a text section. So you can, you have to use this for copy, you have to use it for title, subtitle, CTA text, you know what. And then next is uh, components, plugins, widgets. So you can uh, add different plugins uh, uh, to improve your email designing. So I will create another video, a specific video on plugins. So what plugins you have to install and what are their benefits? And then next is uh, move tool. So you can move your uh, like frame like this. Okay. So, and then here's uh, like a shortcut key that is only edge. So you can just press uh, edge from your uh, keyboard and you can uh, move your dashboard like this. Left, right, up or below. Okay. And then here's the comment section. So that is a very important option. Like if you have done the email design and you want to get the feedback of your client, so you can share uh, from here, okay, uh, copy link. So you can share the link of your design with your client 
and then client can uh, submit his or her feedback on your email design so easily you can understand what she or she want and where is the low pole that you have to overcome okay so that is very important option and really helps uh, in uh, like uh, save times because uh, sometimes we have to like uh, show the design to client and we get the feedback but sometimes there is some confusion but if they like suppose a client want to uh, like uh, want something on your title so you like the client will just click here and he can or uh, she can uh, add some comment here so you can adjust you can understand like okay clients uh, is talking about the title so you can only work on the title okay so in that way it will uh, help you what clients needs okay and you can provide the quality work so this is the very important and uh, for sharing uh, i would uh, like to recommend to so create another uh, figma uh, like uh, file and you can put your design there like only one email uh, should be there that about which you want to get the feedback uh, so and you can like if if you are done with that comment so you can move it or like remove it or uh, you can uh, put another design there too if it is uh, like related to the same store hope you got my point let me summarize suppose uh, it is xyz store or you are working on their monthly email campaigns and you want to get their feedback so you can create another file and you can put the image of your email design there and you can get the feedback but if it is uh, some it was some project based and you have done the project so you can remove the email designs from that figma file and you can uh, upload your new design there to share with your new client okay so i hope you got my point so this was our today class uh, third class uh, it was about options so hope uh, you will learn something new and if you uh, find something uh, issue in this elements in these options uh, so let me know in the comments and how is going on this figma event designing course so let me know your feedback so it will push me to make and create uh, the content uh, with more pace okay so stay tuned stay happy thank you